Hey guys, Billy Anders here, and last Sunday Night Cup Series driver Kyle Larson ended up getting suspended from NASCAR. So how he ended up getting suspended was, last Sunday night during a virtual race that was being live streamed on iRacing, that a few other NASCAR drivers and had a few other iRacers in it, sometime during the race he appeared to have lost communication with his spotter through his headset, so he decided to do a mic check, and when he did he said, you can't hear me, and then followed it with the use of a racial slur. And because of him saying that, throughout this week so far he ended up getting suspended by NASCAR and on iRacing, ended up losing all of his main sponsorships in the Cup Series, got fired from his team at Chip Ganassi Racing, and got suspended with his relationship with Chevrolet as well. Now for me, in my opinion, I feel like a lot of this was just an overreaction. I thought it was okay for him to get suspended in NASCAR and on iRacing, but I feel like it kind of went overboard when he had to lose most of his main sponsors in the Cup Series and get fired from his race him in real life even though it was on iRacing and it wasn't even a NASCAR sanctioned race. I feel like if anything, once they went back to actual races, they should have just had him be suspended for a few races and even just had him have to pay for a fine for using a racist slur. But since he did end up getting suspended and lost his ride in the Cup Series, I definitely feel like he's going to be able to bounce back from this since he's still very young and still has a lot of talent. And even if he isn't able to get a ride back in the Cup Series, he could always go back to sprint car racing since he has his own race team and could continue to race there. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys are a fan of NASCAR or Kyle Larson, be sure to put down in the comments below what you guys think of the whole situation of Kyle Larson getting suspended from the Cup Series. Do you guys think that the decisions that they ended up making were kind of overboard like I did, or do you guys think that they were good decisions that they ended up making after he said a racial slur during a live streamed race on iRacing last Sunday night? But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Video or later.